we're looking at the Tiffin Phaeton 40IH. Here's a copy of the floor plan. And remember, we are at FMCA, and this is offered by Camper Inn. These prices are only valid the day of this video, and uh, we are at the FMCA rally here in Prairie, Georgia. So let's go take a look inside. Okay, as we enter, we do see the battery and step control right on to our left. And we do have a wireless control and the pads and cup holder. Okay, going over to the co-pilot seat. We'll take a look and see what they have. As you can see, they have the electronic leveling system, cup holder, lights, mirrors, pretty much action. Anyway, our parking brake, pretty standard. There's our wipers, of course our telephone controls. There's our display panel for our mileage. Here is our radio, and of course, some additional radio cameras, menu, backup cameras, etc. It's amazing what they do in these coaches. Okay, you do have a mirror overhead. I mean a mirror, a TV set overhead. You do have some electronics there. There are three cabinet doors. Looks like TV controls. You can see the coaxial connection. There's some awning and other controls. There's your wind guard. Wine guard, wind guard, and there is a cabinet up there. You also have some cabinets over the door, connections, as well as some more cabinet space. This one's directly over the co pilot seat, and well, that's about six or seven inches deep. Nice little storage area. Going down behind the co pilot, we do have our sofa, our televator TV, which is on for people to see a display. There is a small little cabinet. I don't know what you're going to put in there, but I'm sure somebody will think of something. Dog leash, maybe. Okay. There are no cabinets over the TV in that area. Moving on, we're going to go down to the dining room area. And there is a booth set up with three cabinets overhead. They are passed through, as hopefully you can see. And then we do have some nice mirrors there. Obviously has an outside TV or cooking. I'll try to catch that on the way out. And going on down, we do have a pantry. One, two, three, four, five, six pull-out drawers. We do have a residential style uh, refrigerator. Sometimes I think living in the same refrigerator is kind of crazy, but uh, you know, somebody might really have a thing for refrigerators, but they're about the same. And over here we have our freezer with two drawers. Plenty of stuff to stock in there. And we're going to turn around, go back up to the other side behind the captain's chair. Okay, behind the captain's chair, we have three overhead cabinets. Quite long, actually. Let's see if they fake out us inside. Okay, this is an enclosed cabinet, really probably 15 to 18 inches in depth. Uh, quite high. It's a good size cabinet. The one next to it is actually a passer, so you have something, you put something longer in there. But these are three very good sized cabinets. You see the red windows there. There's uh, an egress type window. And then you have your sofa here that turns into a bed. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. We have a pull out drawer in the cabinet and an adjustable shelf. A convection oven. We have another two door cabinet that has some pull out drawers and adjustable shelves up here. We have these lovely windows. I'm glad they started making these. You can go out and look out and see everything. See the other coaches. Right next door, I see a tipped in, must be an automatic break room. I see coffee cups and creamer. It's kind of fun looking at. I can kind of be nosy. We do have the kitchen sink here. You can see it's been winterized. You got a little pink stuff there. But you do have your sink here. Oh, that's a heavy one. And it is, that's kind of interesting. It's got a big rounded sink, and the other side is a smaller rounded sink. Let's see if I can get that there and show you. And there's the smaller sink there. Bear with me while I put this back. Okay. We do have induction top stove. We do have the island. It pulls out here, and the button is somewhere, uh, or a lever, excuse me, I think it was a lever, there we go. So there's the island, 
And we have the country drawer, as well as two additional drawers. And oh, look, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remotes. Interesting. Okay, let's pull this in and push it back in. We do have the dishwasher. So, we also have a drawer under the dishwasher. That's a nice long one, too. Put cookie sheets and trays in there. Okay, then we do have our traditional sponge area. And the can that below does have a trash can. Okay, moving on to the other side of this picture, we will see the half bath. Here's the half bath. Done in a uh, brown gray color, actually. I do like that tile. It's kind of a nice mixture of colors there. You got your vanity, you have a drawer below, a little one, and a place to put your uh, magazines and whatnot. Unless the toilet paper holder is here, because I don't see. Oh, toilet paper hole is right by the door. I don't know. I'd be afraid when I come in. If you had a roll of toilet paper right there, you know, it's the, literally here's the door frame. So I wonder if you would, and it goes this way, if you would knock it off. But just a thought. Okay. Wooden balance, as well as a medicine cabinet with adjustable shelves. Just locked myself in the bathroom. There is a towel rack, three of them on the back door here. Going into the bedroom, there is a ceiling fan up top. And there is a TV in the corner. I don't want to display too much there. And this first drawer is electronics. So no storage in that cabinet. Right below it is probably the hamper. We have two drawers. They're the same size. You can see there's underneath lighting and there's two much longer drawers, probably about three foot in length and about a foot this way. You got your shelf here, your egress window here, and you got two cabinets up here. They're pretty deep, maybe about a foot or maybe a little longer. And it does pass through one to the other side, so you can put something longer in there and store it. In the bedroom side, you have your king size bed. Looks like the headboard is surrounded by a, a wooden trim piece. That's very nice. Let's see if I can let's see if you can see that. Very nice. And they have the reading lights and the other lights. There are four cabinets above. And it looks like it, that's a pass through. They're not very uh, tall. So yes, it's separated in the middle. So you get two cabinets here that are passed through and two over there. And this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's real wood or not, but it's kind of hard. If you had a dog, they might chew the edges, right? <laughs> okay, so we have your connection for your phone charger or whatever, and a little drawer on that side. And I believe we have the same thing on the other side. I take a look at this bathroom here. Okay, we got our, again, this towel rack. Seems like it should be moved over a little bit. It's literally, if you, if you did it flat, I mean, literally it's sticking out over the edge. Let's see if I can do it. There's the edge. I'm putting the camera up against it. You can see that it sticks out over it. So again, something that you could hit. It seems like you could move it over a little bit. It would have been better placement. There are a couple cabinets up top. Again, left to right. And a little cabinet there that actually goes through to the next, actually the whole thing goes through to each other. So you, if you wanted something long in the bathroom, don't, don't know what, but plenty of room for shampoo bottles or whatever there. Double vanity sink. You get space, plenty of space underneath the sink. That's the other side too. Yes, yeah, so there's plenty of room under the sinks to put stuff. And you have three drawers in the middle. It's very good. Again, we see slide. Again, this is here. Let's see what happens when we open up the washer and dryer. Okay, well, it's not in the way of the doors or anything, so that's good. There's the washer and dryer. And 
then you have a very long board row here with a safe and so there's a little space back there and then a shelf up top we do have a cabinet over the toilet there's your toilet and then in the shower you do have the closed skylight you do have a place for shampoo bottles it does have a seating area it does have the water miser so it's all very good and since we got someone else coming in i'm going to go ahead and end it here at the shower hopefully you enjoy this video and uh remember open the door to adventure and start all your journeys with the rv keys have a great day Thank you.